And that's the purpose of no contact, fellas. Me getting my heart ripped out, stomped on and fed to me by this evil woman. I needed that. That did me some good. That opened up a whole new door and experience that I didn't even knew was available for me. Then you start becoming that man. And that's the ultimate goal, to be satisfied with the person you got to look at in the mirror every day and to be able to hold yourself accountable. Because if you hold yourself accountable, there's nothing can go wrong. There's nothing that's not fixable. If you take accountability for what's happening in your life, you can have total accountability on correcting the course and bringing your life where it needs to be. <clears throat> and what that looks like is the first thing I tell guys, get in the fucking gym, get in the gym. As if you look around now, just being in moderately in shape, healthy male, that's not skinny fat or fat and sloppy, puts you above average right there. And there's so many valuable things you learn through that process in the gym. And what that requires is commitment, discipline, attention, motivation. Motivation is good. Don't get me wrong. I love motivation. I love when I feel motivated. But the days you don't, you still got to do it. The days when you absolutely don't feel like putting the time in, eating the right food, going to sleep, getting your right rest. That's when it's that's when it adds up. Because I'll tell you the truth, you know, I have long days and sometimes most times the last thing I feel like doing is going to grind myself in the dust at the gym. Or going to jujitsu when I'm tired and I'm sore. But I do it anyway because it needs to be done. Life is just a small day to day process of maintenance tasks, maintaining and growing as you develop things they need to be maintained. You're not going to go into the gym for six months, change your physique and never go back to the gym. You're not going to learn uh, a healthy lifestyle, a good diet, rest, you know, uh, which you take in mentally. And I don't mean your diet, your diet being what you absorb socially, mentally, you know, what you take in audibly, the music, TV shows, like stuff like that. The, the, the things that you create that make you better that level you up need to be maintained and cultivated over time. It needs to be constantly work, constantly work, work, work. You have an outcome in mind, but you're not doing it for the outcome. You're doing it for the process. You got to learn to fall in love with the process. Then as the things come, you know, there's a genuine deep down sense of self-respect and confidence that comes with that because you know, you f showed up and you did that shit day in and day out. And now you got the results. So that brings up a whole new self-image and belief system. And you're like, okay, I can do it. And the reason I tell guys to start with the gym is because the same process of you buckling down, committing, remaining disciplined, focused, and process-oriented, you become enjoying the process and following the process and trusting the process is it takes time to get that result. But when you get that first compliment or that first recognition, like, man, you've been working out, you look good. Or some chick grabbing your arm or feeling your stomach or looking at your chest and that's it. And you know, you arrived. And there's also another profound realization that comes along with that is I did that. I did it. Then you take that same mindset and work ethic and mentality into everything else you do in life. And it's a success because that's what it takes. It takes discipline, commitment, ambition, dedication, sacrifice, all of these things. That's, that's it. And you apply that same formula to your business, to your relationship, to your social circle, to your uh, other training, your jujitsu, whatever it might be. And you apply that same mindset and that same process to anything and you succeed. Now you've really started doing something different and you've leveled up. Now you got to keep it up. But that's what no contact is all about. It's not about them. You know, that's that's over with. You know, at some point, you got to come to terms with that relationship is over. It's dead. Because even if they come back, you're not in the same relationship. This is a whole nother fucking experience. You're a whole nother person. They're a whole nother person. 
that relationship didn't work. So why would you want to go back to that? And through this process, you learn about these things, about being in relationships, owning the masculine role in a woman's life. And what you do through that is you communicate that he is how I'm going to be and he is how you're going to be. You take the lead and you're able to lead your life. You're able to lead her life and you're able to lead the relationship. And you do it with confidence and steadfast because you already know you can do it. You the fucking, you the boss now. You've put in the work, you put in the time, you've gone and looked at all your limitations and your flaws. And it's an ongoing process that never ends. Hopefully it never ends because I love the fucking process. I love the challenge. I love discovering new things about myself and things that uncovering more and more potential. Then you start to look back at the whole experience, the heartbreak. Then you start to really appreciate that and realize like, fuck, this is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Then you start becoming that man. That's why you go no contact.